you think about the importance of infrastructure in terms of building a regional, uh, regional center? Uh, well, I, I think you know my views on this. I, I don't think it's important to have your own physical studio. Lionsgate had a studio, in fact, in Vancouver, but when we first came into the company, that was one of the first things we did was to sell the studio. And most big studios that you think of, like 20th Century Fox, where we are today, and Paramount and Warner Brothers, shoot their movies in places other than the studio. So having a studio there is usually the last thing that, that the shooting company really cares about. I mean, they probably think it's nice if you have a, if you have a state-of-the-art facility. But if not, they'll make do. And they'll do the post-production someplace else or someplace near. And the, the, the cost of maintaining a studio, because you have to make a good studio, because if it's just simply something that you've sort of retooled but isn't state-of-the-art, then no one will use it anyway. But if you're going to have it there all the time and you have to have people working there all the time and maintaining it all the time, it's very expensive. So I think that should be the last thing you do rather than the first thing you do. But uh, you know, other people have different opinions. Well, and we're lucky to have in the audience James Pistorius, who does visual effects for people like David Fincher and, and X-Men and all those things. And he has an L.A. office, but he's open one in Pittsburgh because he's from Carnegie Mellon and he knows the talents there. And a lot of these digital companies get so big and then they find their overhead. So in some ways, you can build it without having to build the physical studio. And I guess you can do effects. And Bernie, I guess you've had huge experience with this about visual effects companies around the world, right? I mean, yeah, I mean, I have a slightly different opinion than John. You know, I don't think anybody should go build a studio, but it certainly is helpful to a town in terms of attracting business to have stage space and, you know, have a facility that where people can shoot movies. Because, look, ultimately, it's it's a huge balance. And where the film business is going is there's big movies and there's and there's little movies. And, you know, what's beneficial for the ci for cities is to have both coming in. And, you know, with a big movie can come a lot of money that benefits restaurants and dry cleaners and taxis and hotels and, you know, can really help, like, any convention or, you know, business that you bring into a city on a temporary basis does and just spurring the economy. And then, you know, you hope with the, the – that it – it creates a crew base and an interest, and and uh, um, it creates the the idea that you can make a movie, and people do make five hundred thousand dollar movies and million dollar movies and two million dollar movies that can then go on and create you know an artist base, and you know you see like you look at Austin, Texas, and as a, as a really good example because they have a great film school there, a lot of people want to live there and make movies there, um, you know it's a right to work state. So there's a lot of conditions that exist where people can make movies there. You know, you look at things like the Australian tax deal, which has become much more stringent and difficult um, to uh, access. But what they've done in making it more difficult is they're trying to home grow their entertainment. They're trying to get writers and producers and directors to come from Australia because great movies have always been made in Australia. There just haven't been a lot of great Australian writers. And so now, you know, what they've done is taken a much longer road to try and succeed in encouraging, you know, to get only to give the tax break if the story comes from uh, an Australian writer. Now, it's not necessarily something that I agree with because I liked shooting in Australia. I shot a lot of movies there. It's a great place to work. There's great crews. But what they're doing is they're making a long, you hope, a long-term commitment. Well.